Okay, I don't know why that last part cut off, but basically what I've done is just um, taken that smooth layer on top and just really put it and kind of formed it. Um, so now it's getting the shape that you really want. So as you can see, mine kind of is like a fan out here. I'm going to add even more of my side to make it a little bit more coherent with the whole look. So we've got comb that section. And this looks scary to do to your hair. I promise it will come back. It, I mean, it won't, like, it won't tear your hair out, but be careful when you undo it. You can do kind of a lot of damage with Shokwai hair, but if you take care of it, it'll be okay. So now I'm just going to work on smoothing these sides out. Okay, once you have like the shape that you want, and note, always go a little bit taller than what you think, because um, it will fall throughout the day. I just twist it, so I have like about the shape that I am looking for in my hand. I'll twist it and push up. And this is a good time to adjust before you pin it. Okay, so that is the shape that I'm going to get. So just give it a good spray. Um, and then if you want like the sides to be bigger, like half the time since I have super thin hair, um, I'll actually back comb this entire chunk and that doesn't leave me with much. But I back comb about half of my actual hair to just give it like that extra volume because it will fall when you are dancing. So yeah, um, to get it out, comb slowly. Um, another thing, it's really up to your preference whether you curl your hair before or after. Um, doing the poof, I will say sometimes it's easier to curl after just so you don't have to deal with curlies up here. It's easier to work with a flat um, base and then curl around it and make a beautiful southern bell look. So that is how you do it.